What's up guys, Wellen Customs here, and today I want to take a quick look at these Tony Stark replica sunglasses that I got on Amazon. They're pretty cool. I have to admit they're pretty cool. There's two different versions. So this one I have right here is more of a purplish uh, tint to it, a little bit darker also. The other one that they have is actually more close to what you see from Spider-Man uh, Far From Home, which is a little bit more bluish, clear also, not as tinted. So I decided to get this one because I actually wanted to act and use them as actual sunglasses when I drive, when I go out. Uh, and I like purple sunglasses overall, and uh, I definitely like these a lot. So, quick review. Here they are on my face. They fit pretty good. What do you guys think? Not bad. I know some pl some people were complaining it was too either too big or too wide. Uh, overall, I think it's still pretty good. You know, I have aviators. If you're used to aviators, they're all a little bit big also. Uh, but I think it looks pretty good overall and I'm pretty happy how it looks. You can see it does have more of a purplish tint on it. I'll show some videos later of me walking on a really sunny day and you definitely see it's all purple. Uh, but overall, it really comes down to your own preference. But I think if you get this one or the blue ones, you'll be pretty happy just to have them in your collection. You know, they look really nice overall. When you buy it, they come in this box right here. This is the brand. I don't know how to say it. Uh, the glasses itself come in a little bag like this, nothing crazy, and then you also get uh, a cleaning lens cloth right here and a bag for your sunglasses, which is pretty nice. Now these sunglasses are only 13 to 14 bucks, depending on which brand or which company you buy from, uh, but they're pretty good. You know, I have a lot of different sunglasses, aviators, Ray-Bans, you pay for what you get sometimes, but I like them. These are pretty nice. Uh, material wise, like this is metal right here, the frames over here is plastic. So it's pretty understandable what you get for what you pay for, but it feels really durable. I'm pretty impressed by it and I like the quality, it's really nice. I myself, am a, like I'm sure a lot of people, you know, you might be a little bit lopsided on your ears. So I had a bend on this side, uh, but it fits perfectly fine. I'm pretty happy with the fit, the feel, it's nice, looks pretty good. But when you put it down straight, it's not completely flat anymore, but that's fine. One thing I want to point out though is that the nose piece is actually not rubber or like a silicone piece, which is pretty normal to have. They're actually just pure plastic. Uh, they have a nice design to it, but I was shocked by that because sometimes, you know, me at least, I do sometimes tend to get an oily face throughout the day. I would be scared that, you know, it's plastic, so it might tend to slide on my nose a little bit. So far I haven't had that problem because these are pretty tight, firm at least, uh, so that they stay pretty good in place. Nothing too crazy that bothers me that I need to keep fixing it or something like that. But if it does become a problem in the long run, I'll switch it out. All right, so I am driving in traffic right now and I thought it would be a good opportunity to show off the sunglasses when I'm actually really using them. And like I said before, I'm happy that these are a little bit darker than they are in the movie, per se. Uh, because they actually work as real sunglasses, and I can actually use them when I'm walking around. When I'm driving, and they work fine. I think in the movie, they're a little bit lighter. Uh, the one Tony was wearing was a little bit tinted, but not quite like this. The one that Peter Parker had were like blue. Uh, so they changed it up a little bit. But these are almost purple, and they, they look good, I think. They work good. I think that's all that matters. Uh, my wife saw me wearing them and she said I look a little bit cocky looking. They look good, but they look a little cocky looking. But that's the look I'm going for, of course, so uh, I don't mind that. So we'll see how they uh, fare throughout the rest of the day. And I think they're going to be pretty good overall. I mean, these are prop glasses, you know, they're not, I mean, they're still sunglasses, but uh, they're not that expensive, so I don't know what to think of them when I first got them, but hey, if they block the sun, they look pretty good. That's all that matters. Yeah, so overall I'm pretty happy with these. I know these aren't completely screen accurate because I know the one that Tony Stark had are a little bit more transparent looking. Not, But they weren't really sunglasses though, that's the thing. Um, these are actually really good sunglasses for like a sunny day and stuff like that. So I understand why they make this, they made this a little bit more tinted. But I'm happy they did because like I said, they actually function as actual sunglasses. Uh, so they're pretty good. 
they come with diff a lot of different versions. They have this, which is silver frames. They have ones that are gold. Uh, even if you watch all of the Marvel movies, Tony Stark has so many different sunglasses. Literally, they're not the same. I actually was looking through a bunch of old movies just to try to get some screenshots and stuff like that. Literally, every single movie, and even some f movies that have different scenes, he's wearing new sunglasses all the time. Very subtle changes, but they're all different, so... So it's gonna be hard to pinpoint exactly where these are from, to be honest, but... I like them. They're pretty good. Like I said before, you can still also get the blue ones that are more to the look that Peter Parker had. I think he would be pretty happy with those also. So that's about it, guys. Pretty cool. 13 to 14 bucks. I'm pretty happy. And that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like the video, give a thumbs up. Peace! Brock! If you guys hear my dog in the background, uh, always making so much noise. His name is Brock. Say hi, Brock. Peace! Crispy.